Welcome back to NBC 24 today on this Thursday morning. We are so lucky to have Imagination Station with us. We have scientist Dan Clements on once again. Thanks for sticking around. No problem. Now I got to play with fire earlier. They uh, armed me with a blowtorch. This yeah. time around, no fire. I don't see anything out here that would um, create a flame. What do we have? Well, today I thought we would play with a pretty cool substance called ferrofluid. What is ferrofluid? Ferrofluid is a magnetic fluid, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Normally we think of things like that are magnetic, like metal, like steel and mm -hmm. things like that, iron. But this is actually a fluid. So right here, I have a giant magnet. Yes, you so do. a very strong rare earth magnet stuck to the bottom of my pan here, and okay. I've got a metal bolt. So it's very strong. You can see I can pick up the whole thing. I see that. And then you've, uh, we have gloves on. Why is that? Because the ferrofluid, if you want to grab a pipette I do. and get some of the ferrofluid here, it's actually made from a very oily substance, mm -hmm. okay, that is, has a bunch of magnetic, tiny, tiny magnetic particles suspended in it. So we can actually put some on our bolt here, and we can see what happens because our bolt is magnetized because of that super Amazing. strong neodymium magnet. Mm -hmm. All right. If you're not watching, please take a minute. I know you're trying to get out the door, but if you have kids around before they head to the bus stop, take a look at this. This is very cool, um, and you can see how it creates these little spikes. All right. But don't touch the spikes. <laughs> well, you can touch them. It actually creates that, that because of the magnetic field that mm -hmm. is coming off of this magnet. So the particles line up with that magnetic field. If you ever seen like iron filings? I have. Uh, then you place a magnet and they kind of line up in little lines. Mm -hmm. It's the same exact thing is happening. And you can see it's kind of spiraling, or spiraling around. Now can you just keep putting this fluid on top? You can keep top? putting it on and look if you can even, I can take mine and kind of squirt it about a little far away and it actually uh -huh. gets pulled in because of the strength, strength of the magnet. Amazing. And so you're doing this right now at Imagination Station. All the kids can head out and do this on their own or take part in? Well, they'll have a Not chance to participate in a, in a variety of different science demos. Mm -hmm. um, this just being one of them. Well, let's talk about what you do have there at Imagination Station right now for those who may not have made a visit in the past couple weeks. Yeah, um, we still have Mythbusters, the explosive exhibition mm -hmm. happening. Um, it's pretty cool. You can come out and bust some myths with us and see a bunch of different artifacts from the show. Mm -hmm. um, and we're very excited to have that. It's actually extended through April, so you have an extra time to get out and see it. Fantastic. And for all of the young scientists out there who really want to may maybe see a future in this field, they can take part in a workshop? Absolutely. We have our little scientist workshop starting up in March, mm -hmm. um, and we're getting geared up for those, and we have all kinds of different topics. You can go to our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org, and sign up. All right, so be sure to look there. Again, we'll have this interview on our website later on this morning at NBC24.com, so you can see once again what we took part in, both during our 6 and 6.30 half hour. I am fascinated. You always just take my breath away. Always. <laughs> I love it. Well, thanks for joining us this morning. No we have another check-in with Elise Chingiri, who is telling us all about National Tempura Day. When we come back right here to NBC24 Today.